deep within the bustling city of Makati is the village of Salcedo, which is a food haven to some, which brings us here today to Crosta Pizzeria, which I personally haven't tried myself. My name is Yuichi Ito, I'm the new head chef of Crosta Pizzeria. So uh, I graduated um, cooking school in, at ISCAM back 13 years ago. So I moved to Tokyo after that. I trained at the Mandarin Oriental Tokyo for 10 years. Um, there I received uh, most of my awards, which is the Michelin Guide, Gamber Rosso, OAD, uh, Top 100, uh, and the most recent one is the 50 Top Pizza and 50 best restaurants in Asia. So the reason why I moved to Philippines is that I think the crowd in the Philippines are, crowd in the Philippines is ready for something new and to be more experien experiential. I think Philippines is 15 years behind food scene compared to Tokyo, but it's also a good thing because there's more places for you, spaces for you to grow as a chef or to introduce something new to people, which is uh, our goal uh, for Crosta Pizzeria. My plans for Crosta Pizzeria as the new head chefs is, are very exciting actually. We've, we are planning to do lots of crazy stuff, no rules kind of pies. Actually, we just launched a new flavor, which is pumpkin pizza, which I'm sure not all of you guys would pick. Pumpkin on a pizza, why? Why not? <laughs> so basically, the pumpkin pizza we're trying to create now, it's a, it's a pumpkin base with goat cheese, some pickled pumpkin and homemade pancetta, which is, uh, which is a mixture of flavor and mixture of textures as well. So for me, Creating a pie is not always about creating tomato base and cheese bases. What I want to have is something that everybody would enjoy as a piece or as a bite as well. We're here to try some of their pizzas. I am open to try the basics first. Cheers. 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 <laughs> That's fresh. Mm -hmm. I think for me, like it's it's so important to like nail the basics, and this absolutely nails it. I guess because they use sun-dried tomatoes, it's pretty concentrated. Punch of tomatoes, so just a little sweet, but nice and back. This is what you what you want to go for if you want fresh pizza. Mm -hmm. Like for me, the crust is so important in pizza because like the toppings are kind of just like cherry on top of the cake, and it's like crusty on the outside, and soft on the inside. All right, this is good, but we have to move on to our next one. Gotta move on, Nick. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Morty and Ella. Um, Morty and Ella. Yeah. And this is 2.0. Yeah, 2.0 Morty and Ella. I love pistachio, but I've never had it on a pizza. It's a lot of ham. I know, they're very generous with the toppings. What I like about this is we moved away from your ordinary taste of your pizza. Well, for starters, like, there's a very generous serving of the ham, which I yeah. love. Um, it's like silky. Yeah. So the other thumb. We were talking about the pistachio. It adds subtle quality to the pizza that I really, really like. For our next one, you were saying that this is... Chef's an, favorite. Chef's favorite, an underrated uh, pizza. So this actually has no cheese. Um, Which is interesting because I think when we think pizza, especially here in the Philippines, we think cheese, we think tomato sauce. Yeah. This, is, this is none of the cheese. Yeah. That's a major ingredient for what people think yeah. of. I'm excited. Yeah, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, you can appreciate the tomatoes better here. At this point, I forget that I need cheese on a pizza. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So good. Tomato sauce is such an integral, obviously, like it's such an integral part of the pizza, but a lot of it tends to be overlooked in a way, in, in such a way that, that like, when it, when you top it with so many things, you don't get to like appreciate that it's full glory. Yeah, and to your point earlier, this is where the crust really shines. A bad crust can ruin a pizza. This, yeah. This one, it helps elevate the, the whole dish. And finally, I, I've been waiting for this one because it's the most 
intriguing. Intriguing one, yeah. Like, I love pumpkin anything, but I've never had it. There's like a puree. Puree, pickled bottom, pumpkins, I believe. Pickled pumpkins. And the pumpkin yeah. flour? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers for this one. Cheers. Ah, exciting. Hmm. It's, it's so good. So good. It tastes like fall, and I've never, like... I've never experienced fall, but like... <laughs> but here we are. The thing is, I love the, the many different forms of pumpkin that you have here. The puree really gives you that creaminess, and then you have the pickled pumpkins, which give you that, that um, strong, punchy flavor. The crunch. And the crunch. I need juicy crunch. Yeah. Actually, like, it's so nice that there's like this little hint of pickle here, because it kind of balances out the richness of the other parts. Pickles and pizza should be a thing. I'm, I'm a believer now. Mm. So having tried all of them, what's your favorite? Mm. Ah, that's good. It's something, I think it's the the most, you know, Earth. earthy. It, One it, of a kind. A superstar. I don't know where else you can get a pizza like this. You gotta try it for yourself. And if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to Spot.ph for more videos coming your way. Hit the notification bell as well while you're there. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!